Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. My name is Justin Freeman, and I am the host of this little show called Anthems of the Iron Horse. Now, this brand new series is going to dive into individual pieces of American railway equipment, mainly those preserved at the Tennessee Valley Railroad and Museum. Now, just a little bit of background information on your host. Like I said, my name is Justin Freeman. I'm a 19-year-old college student, and I am a qualified brakeman and conductor trainee of the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. I've been volunteering with the museum. Well, I volunteered with the museum for about four years, and then over the last three years, I've been an employee. Let me tell you, it's one of the best things I have ever done. So I've got a little bit of experience with each piece of equipment that we'll mention in this series. Now, I'm not really sure how far this series will go or how many episodes we'll make, but I'm sure it will be a blast. So sit down get and get ready for some history here on Anthems of the Iron Horse. Now the first locomotive I'd like to spotlight in this mini-series is one that seems to get overlooked quite often. You see, when many people think of the world-famous Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum, they mainly think of our two operational steam locomotives, the 4501 and the 630. And while those are two beautiful looking locomotives, they are not the most profitable locomotives. They haven't been the most reliable. Now, the most reliable locomotive at Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum is one that, like I said, does get look, overlooked quite often. And that is United States Army number 1829. Now, the 1829 is a GP7L type locomotive built in 1951 by the Electromotive Division of General Motors. It was one of 20 of those GP7L type locomotives to be produced for the United States Army. Now, those 20 locomotives ranged from the 1821 to the 1840. Now, these locomotives were different from your traditional GP7 as they were equipped with AAR Type 1 switching trucks or switcher trucks. They're a lot lighter weight truck and they had a plane bearing instead of those traditional roller bearings that would have been seen in the 1950s. Now, those were so these locomotives could be used for light switching duties. Now, the main power plant of these class of locomotives was a 576 type B prime mover. And that 576 B is a 1500 horsepower 16 cylinder diesel engine, which is a quite standard um, uh, prime mover in railroading. Now, the 1829, our locomotive for the day, would have mainly operated out of Kingsport, Tennessee, at the Holston Army and Munitions Plant. Now, while operating at the Holston River Army and Munitions Plant, it would be sporting the beautiful black, gold, and white paint scheme of the United States Army, a paint scheme which truly represented hard work and dedication. The 29 would operate for the United States Army until 1993, when she and two of her sister locomotives would be sold at auction as surplus. These two locomotives would be sold to the world-renowned Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum for the low, low price of only $250 each. So for only $750, TVRM would get off with three diesel-electric locomotives. Now once the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum would acquire the 1824, the 1829, and the 1832, all three GP7Ls, they would be shipped to two Chattanooga. Now that $750 purchase would last the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum for quite some time. Both the 1824 and the 1829 would serve the museum in passenger service. Meanwhile, the 1832 would experience some mechanical failures. It would unfortunately meet the scrapper's torch before the year 2000. Now today, the only operational GP7L at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum is the 1829. In the 1824, the sister locomotive, which was not scrapped, experienced mechanical issues in 2017, being removed from service and placed in static display. Now, the 1829 is still hauling excursions at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Now, it is unique at TVRM as it does have a six brake. It is our only operational locomotive to have that six brake. And it also is our only operational locomotive with plane bearing trucks, not having roller bearings. 
And if you'd like to learn more about the 1829 and the 1824, visit the museum's website at www.tvrail.com. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give you a couple of moments to see just what it's like to hear and see the 1829 in action. These clips were recorded in January of 2024.
Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, our very first episode of Anthems of the Iron Horse comes to a close. If you would, please let me know what you thought about the video in the comments down below. I know that's kind of a rudimentary thing to ask, but this is the first experimental episode. So let me know what you think. I've got a lot more footage and I can do a lot more of this. I do want to say all credit to this does go to the Tennessee Valley Railroad and Museum. They are my inspirations. They're some of the greatest people in the world. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Until then, or let's go.